So that I went in my Gmail inbox. And I see a message and it says, I forget the user's name and if I knew it, I still wouldn't call them out in this manner. Not that it's anything to be embarrassed of, but it, it reads in part, such and such has subscribed to your YouTube channel. And I go, oh yeah, great. And I think to myself, how often do I get that notification from YouTube that someone has subscribed to my channel? So I go and I look at different subscribers I've accumulated. And we're talking an average of maybe one per week every couple of weeks. And, you know, we're going into the 200s here. But then you look at the views of the videos and they're getting three, four, one, five. And then I go into the depths of my mind and I recall it must have been yesterday. I can distinctively remember the Young Turks putting out some videos that I was just minutes away from having seen uploaded the moment they were starting to be processed on this website. And in that minute alone, a thousand views. I've got stuff that's been out for over a year now and it doesn't even have a hundred. So I also was left to recall how I had made videos in the past, you know, complaining about the lack of attention. But then I also remembered that I'd made videos in the past not saying anything at all. And you got the same result. So now I'm kind of in this middle spot of if I say something about it, it doesn't help. If I say something else and don't talk about it directly in the hopes that people will catch on to the quality of my channel and want to see my content and become vested, it still doesn't produce any results. Really, I am at the end of my rope when it comes to attempts to boost popularity because, you know, this can't be a one man effort. Um, and I don't have people who will go and say, oh, I'll go and promote your stuff. I'll go and show this person that. Nor do I have individuals who would align themselves with my interest of just politics in general. And I know that's not a topic that bores people because the Young Turks has what an estimated 2 million views going on 3 million. So I know it's not the, the topic. It has to be the person. So it really does much to bother me from the perspective of self-esteem. And I have no problem admitting that because I've, I've really just grown tired of trying to pretend that it's not something that has frustrated me and which has bothered me. What's also gnawing away at my collective, um, uh, just interest in continuing to try doing this, you know, increase in subs nonsense is that I really don't see the value in putting so much effort into videos for which I have a mild passion about, but it's not as if I can't live without it if it's not made. I can make a video right now talking about my top 10 favorite comic characters and that might get maybe 10 more views than my usual stuff, but it would only get that many more because it's been done so many times before that people are just tired of those those lists. I could do my favorite uh, top five characters in a given cartoon, and that would probably get about maybe mm, four views because that's already been done before. You know, I, I really feel as if there is no place for the content in which I try to make and the material in which I try to produce. I mean, you, you have your news in the Young Turks. You have your uh, information on anime with for Neverworld and Geekdom. You have your, your political news, aside from the Young Turks, from, you know, other channels that are around here. And it's it's not... And there's no place for me, basically, and that's really irritating to know, but it's also frustrating to admit. And I've just become accustomed to the belief that it won't change. And they always do this thing where they talk about, oh, it's the, the, the prophecy that you're self-fulfilling. Well, even in saying that, I still went out and shared my stuff on Twitter, 
on other web social media platforms. So how valid is that claim? You know, to suggest that would be to suggest that my attitude has somehow disillusioned me to the point of not trying anymore. And that simply isn't true. I've, I still have promoted my stuff and still continue to make content, even in believing it won't make a difference. Now, the reason for making content is the fact that I genuinely enjoy getting in front of a camera and giving my opinion about some current event and being able to look back on that and go, wow, this is that was crazy. That was uh, an interesting day. But I cannot force people to watch something. I even tried to do a thing where I would limit myself. I would say, okay, well, we're going to talk for a minute about this. And one view. Uh, okay, we're going to talk about this for 10 minutes. Two views. So I said to myself, why put so much time and effort into something that people don't have a vested interest in and ultimately won't benefit you in any meaningful way? You know, I can't think of anybody that would ever come and say, oh, I want to quote this thing that Justin said in that video. I want to uh, use what he said about this to give credence to how people felt uh, when this current event happened. It just doesn't seem like something that will happen or that will occur rather, where you'll have this be used for the purpose of citing another person's perspective or gaining some new outlook. I mean, really, who who have you convinced in, in referring to myself, making content? You know, the only video I have that continues to get coverage or attention from people is the uh, Can't Get a Girlfriend one. And that am amuses me to, a, uh, to an extent, but also confuses me because I have other relationship type videos that have much, much less views than that. And you could argue, oh, well, that's the one that's been out the longest. But it still makes no sense to me how a person can check that out 3,000 times. Uh, you know, in, obviously separate individuals. And we can't get 100 of them to watch my stuff regularly. Are you really telling me that? I love how when I go viral, it's still lesser than... I'm not looking for a million, but... You know, there's something to be said when the one video you put out in the video that gets attention in the video, you say it's probably going to get maybe three views and it actually gets more than that by a significant margin. Now, the other problem that I'm facing is that if you complain about it, you're crazy. You're insane. You've lost your mind. You are, you know, so you're entitled <laughs> I'm telling you, anytime somebody expresses this disillusion or dissatisfaction with anything, uh, they're entitled. They don't deserve it. You know, bad guy, <laughs> a villain. Uh, I, I'm. It's. It, it really is incredible to me that we demonize people who, in their from their point of view, want something better, or rather, we demonize people who want something better. And from their point of view, that thing they want is better. Now, you know, I've seen that argument applied. Obviously, it's a relationship thing. That at least had the excuse of, you know, you need the other person's consent. This is a YouTube video. You can turn that on. You can watch that for eight, nine minutes. A lot of people I've seen throughout my life spend 10 minutes doing nothing. They could have spent 10 minutes giving a view to somebody. And, you know, not addressing it has done nothing to give any type of organic flow to my content not being viewed or not being watched or not being seen. It, it just doesn't do it. You know, I made a very impassioned video about that uh, thing at the Academy Awards with those actresses wearing Trayvon hoodies because I was so outraged that they would go and do that, and especially when they do nothing for living African Americans that are around Trayvon's age or younger. And, you know, I spoke very, in my opinion, passionately and had more of a genuine outrage in what I saw before me. And still nothing, no attention whatsoever. They, it, It's as if a bubble surrounds me. And whenever I put a video up, the video just disappears except for maybe one or two people on the site at a time out of the millions that use it every day. And I just don't understand it. I really can't comprehend how we can have that many people going on this website 
and nobody can check this out. It's the same thing with the books. I, I'll never understand how we have 300 million people living in the U.S. And at least several millions of those are on Amazon probably every day. And we can't get 100 of those or some significant number of those to actually go and get a book for $3. It just didn't make sense to me. And a lot of these people I know would have no problem going up to McDonald's and buying a meal for four times that price at $12. And that's not to say everybody is overweight that reads. So, I'm, you know, don't even consider that. And that comment would be taken off context the second I started uttering it. But, you know, I, I've, I can't comprehend this conservative type mentality when it comes to supporting other people. You know, I've I have two users on here that I would consider uh, close uh, allies with acquaintances, and I make an effort to watch their stuff and to contribute to their view count by you know also being actively engaged in the content that they put out. Why do you, why do I do that? You might, might ask. Well, first they did something for me, but also. I want to see them succeed. I don't want them to stay in the one ten. 20 view count every time and you know it, it it doesn't make sense to me when people can spend hours working on videos and then somebody pulls out their camera and talks and that gets a thousand views while the other person get one, gets one view and then they'll have another person that's the opposite where they'll speak on camera and get like um certain um uh, ch channels on here and then the other person will tire of these notifications. The other person will make a video that they edit and work on for several days, like what I have coming up, and that gets ten views at most, or predictably. It hasn't come out yet, but if that cracks more than thirty views in the first five months that it's out, my mouth will drop to the ground. Because I, I'm just I'm so sick and tired of trying to play optimistic. And I'll get called negative, I'll get called despondent, I'll get called so sad and lonely. But I'm not, I'm just, I'm I'm very, I'm disappointed. Um, But it doesn't, it's not something that I think destroys me in life. You know, it's YouTube. Uh, I have other things going for me. It's just sad that something, I, you know, I see other people successful and I actually try to put effort into just won't work out for me. But I guess that makes sense and... You know, I, there's a reason I quit this site back in uh, 2014 and then came back and got the same result after trying something different. Because back in the good old days of that year and beforehand, um, in those first five or six years I was on this site, I didn't publish videos on any regular basis. And that was partly because, and sure enough, right as I've been talking, someone comments on that video. <laughs> I mean, can we, can we please... This exists. This is this is real. Hello. This is real. This is here. This is a palpable video. You can click this, click subscribe, and I will actually see that and react to it and maybe not feel so negative if enough people do it. And you know, we I can now get off tan go off on a tangent about how things are only bad because we can't get enough people to pay attention to things or things are only awful because not enough people want to get involved, which actually, you know, I think has a lot of merit to it. I mean, we have two families currently within the the um, the world that have ten trillion dollars, and you know that's literally enough to feed, clothe, and bathe every person on the planet. But poverty still exists because they don't care, and that's part of what I'm talking about here. I would not be making this right now if people did not ignore my stuff. I would not be feeling a sense of dissatisfaction with this whole website if people did not re re decline my request to do collaborations. I would not be disappointed with the way things have turned out if people had watched my material. You know, and this is going on obviously 15 minutes, but hey, I had stuff that was two minutes got less views or maybe slightly more. I really couldn't tell after a while. I just kept seeing tens, one, eight, five. And then you go and you subscribe to some other guy who has 200,000 subs. You look on his stuff, 3,000 uploaded 14 minutes ago, 5,000 uploaded 
six minutes ago. 7,000 uploaded one minute ago. I just thought to myself, how does that even work, dude? Do people just sit on their phones and have the instant notification and everybody simultaneously checks that video out? I will never understand how that many people latch on to something minutes after it comes out. I mean, at least with Team Four Star, I can kind of get it because it's a whole bunch of people together, united, promoting that stuff off the site. But one guy puts out a video, and it gets thousands of views in less than 10 minutes. Where are these people? I'm starting to think some of this stuff is, is rigged because I really can't see that many individuals clicking on one thing at once. You know, we can't even get... Um, Kim Kardashian, who has 90 million or more by now followers on Instagram, can't even get half of that on her pictures ever. But you're telling me that, you know, all these people are watching this video at once? I don't know. It's just maybe maybe the conspiracy theorist in me is coming out. And maybe that 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 person will get more views. I know I won't. 